Change channel to Sky News. Tuning to Sky News on Red Gen TV. Now airing Sky News. Now, controlling different things with your Amazon device is not new, but this TV has Alexa built in. But is it any good? Well, let's take a closer look and find out. So my friends, in this video, we're gonna be looking at this TV from a firm called Cello. Now, Cello are a rare breed. They're actually a TV manufacturer based in the United Kingdom. But are they any good and what does the product offer? Well, let's take a look at the unboxing and see what the features are. So nowadays, when you're looking at purchasing a new smart TV, that software, the smart part of the TV, is almost as important as the panel itself. This comes with a service called NetGem TV, and I'll go through that in just a second. Now, there's absolutely nothing remarkable about the panel itself. It's black and plasticky. It feels quite cheap. It actually looks better than it feels. And when it gets put together completely, it looks an awful lot better than it feels. But the connections on the back are okay. There is an Ethernet port, so you can hook this straight up to a router. You've also got digital audio out. There's an optical port, and you've got two USB 5 volt ports. There's just the two HDMIs. But again, for this price point, which is under £300, I think that's reasonable. There are a few navigation buttons on the back, which is nice to see. Now, in terms of the look, as I mentioned earlier, this does look a lot better when it's put together. The bezels around the edge, again, are not the biggest, but they're certainly not the worst that we've seen. And the picture quality, which I'll come on to in a second, is pretty good for the price. So this TV that I've got is part of a range which ranges from 24 inches from £149 going right up to 50 inches for just £314. But I think that that 43 inch one, the one that I'm showing you today, at £264 is probably about the right price point. Now to set this thing up I use one of these very cheap aerials which plugs right into the back of the TV and a combination between the TV doing a good job and the aerial doing a good job I got a great load of channels without any issue at all. Now the setup was a really simple process. I have also done a video on that aerial if you're interested and I'll link that up above. But when you turn the TV on all you need to do is set it up to your Wi-Fi network. Once you've done that you can then go in and set parental controls if you wish to and then you can go to the section on TV channels. So the TV will automatically scan for all of your Freeview channels and it will set them up and order them without you having to do anything. Now to get the most out of this TV we recommend that you set up the NetGem TV app and you just download that from your app store and then you set up an account. It's completely free to do. You will get a code which is the same one that's on the TV which you then type into the application and then you'll be able to personalise your NetGem TV content. So effectively you'll choose yes or no, do you like these type of things or don't you, swipe left, swipe right, that type of thing and then it will create its own home screen of what it thinks that you will like. Now while we're in the setup mode let's set up that voice control with your Amazon Alexa and that again is very simple to do from the settings screen on the TV, go to activate voice control and then follow the on-screen instructions, go to your Alexa app and then install the skill NetGem TV and literally just link the accounts that you've just created within the NetGem TV service. You'll now be able to change channel with your Echo device whether that be a dot or show or similar. Change channel to BBC One. Tuning to BBC One on NetGen TV. Now airing BBC News. Mute the TV. Okay. Volume 50% on TV. Okay. When it comes to picture quality, I thought this TV did a pretty reasonable job. Remember, this is just a 1080p, so don't expect this to be able to do 4K. And obviously, if you are using that Freeview service, then part of that will be conditional upon what type of aerial and receiver that you've got. But with that little aerial that I just plugged in, I was able to get HD channels, and I thought they'd worked pretty well. In fact, they look better in reality than they do on the actual video that you're seeing. The menu system on this TV is also really impressive. The My TV will give you a selection of what you've been watching recently and also recommended channels for you. Freeview Play, as you would expect, will give you an option of all of your on-demand channels as well as some other functions as well like apps like BBC News and BBC Sport. 
Safe at Home is a range of streamable videos from YouTube and other on-demand stations. Now, if you do go across to NetGem TV, here you'll be able to hook up apps like Prime Video, and you'll also get a range of premium content that you can buy movies. For instance, the latest Trolls movie is on there ready to purchase. So in the limited use that I've had with it, I think that this is quite a nice interface. It gives you the best of both worlds, both live TV, free view, and also your on-demand content, as well as throwing in a little bit of premium TV. Some people have complained that the premium stuff is pushed a little bit too much. I have certainly not noticed that. One option you have got as well is recordings. If you do plug a USB stick into the back of this TV, then you can set it up to record. So my friends, all in all, I think that this is a good option. This TV doesn't look brilliant, it's not got any particularly great physical features, but the software that's built into it and that Alexa definitely makes it one worth considering. If you want that Alexa feature to be able to change channels and adjust the volume, then it's great. Let me know what your thoughts are, my friends, but this is a TV from Cello. I've not been asked to say anything good or bad about this TV, and so therefore all of the thoughts that I've discussed in this are definitely my own. Thanks again, my friends, for watching, and I really do look forward to seeing you on the next one.